There we go, there it comes out. And then I'll take it for a good run. Okay, here we are again. Welcome back to the channel and to another video on the Fiat Barchetta. So following on from the last video, uh, we did the service, um, changed the plugs, the oil filter and the air filter. Um, today we're going to do the handbrake adjustment and also the additive for the fuel tank injectors. Um, all of this because, as you remember, it failed the inspection. Um, we need to get all these little things done um, in time for the retest and hopefully it will pass this time. Right, let's get to the video. Uh, I just did an amazing take but I forgot to press record. Right. Welcome back to the channel and to another video. So if you remember last time we did the service, we changed the oil and there was a bit of an issue with the sump plug. The previous owner had used sort of silicon around the, the actual plug itself to sort of seal it up, which is a bit of a mess. Anyway, um, I cleaned it up, changed the oil and it was okay, but only for a few days. Then I started getting a little drip on the sump plug. So what I had to do was drain the oil again. Um, and when I put the sump plug back in this time, I used some thread locker just to help seal it up. And that seems to do the trick, so no more leaks. Um, there was a little drip on the oil filter, so hand tight wasn't quite enough, so I tightened it up again with the strap and that was okay. Um, I thought I'd let you know sort of what happened, just to sort of, uh, just so you know that it doesn't always go according to plan. Um, it's not always sort of easy. Um, these little things do crop up. Right, we need to do the additive for the fuel emissions. And also in this episode, we need to do the handbrake as well. That needs adjusting because that was the other thing that it failed on. Right, let's crack on. So that's what I've bought. That's the, the kit, pre-inspection kit. So two bottles came in the kit. One is a uh, fuel injector cleaner and the other one is, uh, what's that? I can't see, just a fuel treatment. It says it helps keep the fuel system clean. Now it says on the packet to put both bottles in, but I wasn't sure about that. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna put this one in first. I've got about a quarter of a tank of petrol in there. So I'll put this in, then I'll fill the tank up to the top uh, and then I'll do quite a bit of driving as much as I can before the inspection just to sort of run it through the system and hopefully that will help along with the service to to get it through. Right so we need to adjust the handbrake now so what we need to do is take this off here and then we can get to the adjustment screw to, to tighten up the handbrake cable. Um, does your handbrake cover just pop off? whenever it feels like it. Mine's just a nightmare, it just doesn't stay in place. I know you can get like a leather sort of cowl alternative to put on there, so I might actually do that because that's just a nightmare. Right, let's get this off anyway and then we'll adjust the handbrake. Okay, this isn't gonna open up all the way, so I need to move the wind stop before I can open it up fully, so. I'll just pop the seats forward. do for now. Right, so in here we've got, underneath here, let's just move that out of the way. I'll take that cover out. You can see two screws there, so we need to undo those two. And then also under here, I pull that off. You just see there, there's another screw there. So that it's only those sort of three screws that hold this in place. So let's get those undone, then we can lift the, the whole unit out. Oh, 
Alright, the other one's a little bit more difficult to get to. Right, I need to try and avoid my normal trick of dropping the, the screws. Got it. Okay, we need to lift this all off next. It all comes off in one piece. But we need to be a bit careful because there's a couple of wires down there. You've got the wire that's attached to the, the cigarette lighter in there, or 12 volt charger. And you've got a cable in there as well for the, the handbrake as well. So we need to be careful taking this off. Okay, at this point, probably a good idea to make sure we've got the battery disconnected. So we're going to be doing with a few wires. So let's lift this up carefully. All right, so have a look in here. There you've got the connector for the 12 volt charger. You've got the little clip on there. So it's quite tight, but if you push that in, I'm trying to do it one-handed here. If you're patient with it, it should come out okay. Just push the clip down. And then it should, there we go, there it comes out. And then just lift the, the cover off. And we're ready to adjust the handbrake. Right, there's our handbrake cables there. Going to each of the rear calipers. Right, it's pretty tricky to get to, but under there, just there, underneath, that's what you need to use to adjust the, the cable, to adjust the tension. So probably a good idea to disconnect the, the handbrake connector there. That'll give you a bit more access. Uh, so under there is our adjustment nut there. And also at this point you want to sort of decide do you want to do the adjustment with the car on the ground or do you want to jack it up at the back so the wheels are sort of free. But either way make sure obviously, make sure obviously that the car is secure. Um, so chop the wheels or put it in gear just so it doesn't sort of run away. Okay, so for the adjustment, you could try and sort of work a spanner in there. It's at the 10 millimeter, which could be a bit fiddly. Or there's a socket like that, which you should be able to sort of slip down and underneath. So you can use your long socket like that and slip it through there and on. Okay, so as per the manual, pull up four clicks. And then adjust the nut so that your cable is tight. Obviously you need to check as well that when the handbrake is off that you've not adjusted it too much and the back wheels have still got free movement when the handbrake is off. Okay, so there's the handbrake on, four clicks. And the nut's been tightened and there's no, no slack at all in the cable there. So what I'm going to do now is actually give it a bit of a clean up around here because it's a bit dirty and dusty. And then we'll put everything back together and then we'll do the additive for the, the fuel tank. I can't remember which way around this goes, but I'm sure it'll pop off again anyway, so let's just slip it on there like that. 
Oh, I should probably go looking at that before he goes the other way. on the other side. Right, job done. Right, I'm just going to use the injector clean. I'm not going to bother with the engine clean. So I'll put this in and then I'll give it a good run. Uh, well, I'll put this in then I'll fill the rest of the tank up. So there's a quarter of a tank in there at the moment. And then I'll take it for a good run. And then hopefully this will get it through the emissions test. A bit sunny. Um, okay, here we are again. Just waiting for the, the registration to be called. Uh, ready for the inspection or the reinspection. So I've put the uh, the additive in the fuel tank and done sort of quite a lot of kilometres with that, quite a lot of miles trying to get it through the system and clean the injectors. Um, done the handbrake and now I'm just waiting for the registration to be called. Then I'll drive through. And then, fingers crossed. Well, that's it, I'm back, and it's good news. Uh, let me show you. There we go, there's my sticker. That means I've got another year on the road, which is great. It went okay, obviously, um, but when he did the emissions test, I did have to sort of push accelerator hard and keep it down and try a few different things to get it through, but eventually it, it did. It did sort of reach the right level on the machine. So I don't know if that's the service that did it, or the injector cleaner, or a combination of both. Um, but anyway, whatever I've done, it's done the trick. Um, right, well that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.